Hello friends, Sam here. So today what we are going to talk about, uh, I developed one project, one POC in AnyPoint Studio. Let me show you that. So what this POC is doing, it is accepting query parameter from Postman. It is accepting payload from Postman and I'm displaying one hard coded message on console. Welcome to my first MULAP. Then I'm uh, displaying the incoming payload. So I'm trying to showcase that how to display the payload. So message.payload, it is displaying the payload. And then this one is displaying the query parameter. So this is the expression which will display the query parameter. Message.attributes.query parameters, query params dot my param. My param is the name of the parameter. So this is what is happening. Uh, then I'm setting the payload with some string, let's say hello world, and I'm trying to print that changed payload because hello world will be overwriting on the previous value of payload and that is getting printed. So in this uh, video, what I'm trying to explain is that which are the different possibilities uh, of sending input from Postman. So we will see different possibilities. Let me show you that. So to this project, I will have these four possibilities. So in this video, you will understand that how to use Postman to give different inputs. So let me jump in first possibility. So first possibility is I'm not sending any query parameter. I'm not sending any payload from Postman. So in that case, what should be the URL? So this should be the URL. This should be the uh, method get because I'm not sending any payload. And then what steps I need to follow? Nothing I have to configure on the params tab and nothing I have to configure on the body tab because of no payload. Let me show you that. Let me open the postman. Okay. So what I'm trying to say params, let me delete that. So delete it, delete it right so on params tab there is nothing configured body tab anyway body tab we are not going to have any payload so body tab just select none select none on the body tab right so let me maybe modify this none on the body tab so that's what none will be selected on the body tab none has to be selected has to be selected on body tab. Okay, so whenever you are not sending any payload, not sending any parameter, how you can send the request from postman, just have the get method as shown in this Excel, just have the get method. Okay, then none will be selected on body and params, nothing will be there. So this way, you can send the request and let us see what will be printed on the screen. So you can see, welcome to my first mule app. That's what will be the output of this logger. Then display incoming payload, nothing is there. So that payload is null. Then uh, query parameter is also null. You can see that. So that uh, you can see payload is null, query parameter is null and hello world will be printed by this last logger. Okay, so this is how the output will be displayed. This is first possibility. You are not sending any query parameter, any payload. Now second possibility. I want to send the query parameter and I fix that my query parameter name is my param. But I will not send the payload. So in that case, what will happen? Whenever you will configure this key value configuration on the param tab. So my param and some value, let's say test value. Okay, so that whenever you configure that automatically this will be appended. Let's say the my parameter value is hello. So this will be appended automatically in the URL. Let's see that. Let's see this uh, combination. I want to show it here. So in uh, this postman, you can see that. Let me show in this postman. So get because we don't have any payload. So get is fine. Let us keep the URL as it is. After that, we are sending parameters. So on params tab, I need to have my param. And the value of my param is, let's say, hello. 
okay so you can see this url automatically form like this that's what i was saying whenever i was talking about this url is automatically form like this okay so you selected get method over here remember that right and you configure key and value configuration on the param step let me show you key and value value is hello key is my param let me send it and let me see on console what happened so on console you can see that welcome to my first app then the payload is still null nothing hello will be the value of the parameter query parameter and hello world will be the last logger output got it so this is the second possibility third possibility we are not sending any parameter so no in the query parameter we are sending test payload as the payload we want to send test payload as the payload so in that case what you will do you don't configure anything on the param tab because we don't want to send the parameter but on body tab you need to select raw as a option and then type that test payload as the input okay and url will be simply like this it doesn't have any query parameter so it will be like this only let me show you that third possibility is i will be making this parameter null so i am deleting this so nothing is there on the param tab on the body tab i will select raw and i will put test payload over here so just let me put let me delete this and let me have test payload over here okay and you can see automatically uh, of course as we don't have any parameter nothing gets added automatically in the url okay so this is what the url method change it to post because whenever you send any payload method has to be post so you can see that method is post right that's what i followed these steps and this is the third possibility i am sending this and you can see in mu lab i will say this test payload got printed my query parameter is null and the last logger output is this one last and most important uh, possibility you are sending both query parameter as well as you are sending payload okay so in that case what you will do you just have to put the my param value so key value configuration has to be configured key value configuration has to be configured on the param tab and on body tab you need to configure that raw selection and the text input and automatically the query parameter will be appended in the url let me show you that here let me have like uh, i do have on params let me have my param some value to my param let's say hello then the body tab raw has to be selected and test payload has to be there and you can say automatically query param is added into this one make sure the method selected is post send okay and let me show you that here you can see the uh, welcome message hard coded message got printed then i can see let me show you here you know in case if my camera covered it up let me show you that so here is my output look at that so it shows welcome to my first mule app then test payload is the payload value hello is the query parameter value and hello world is the last logger output that's what okay so look at this four combination first combination no parameter no payload in that case you need to select the method as get and nothing will be there on the param tab and none has to be selected on the body tab this is possibility 1 second possibility you want to have the query parameter but no payload in that case you just uh, configure key value pair on the param tab and keep none on the body tab so just go to the body tab and select none nothing means none will be selected on the body tab and your url will be formed like this automatically and that way you can do second possibility third possibility is you don't have the parameter but test payload the payload value is there in that case your url will be simple then your method will be post nothing will be there on the param tab and the body tab you need to select raw and the put the text as input test payload as a input over there that is third possibility fourth possibility 
you will have the query parameter as well as you will have the payload. In that case, your URL will be automatically reflected like this after you added uh, parameters, key value pair on the params tab. Then on the body tab, you need to select raw and put the text value. That is what will be fourth combination. I hope it is clear and this video will help you to understand all four possibilities uh, whenever it comes to sending parameters and uh, payload from Postman. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am putting all my details like my website, my WhatsApp number and my email address. Everything is added in the description. In case if you guys need any help in understanding anything, just ping me on any of my touch point. Thank you so much and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.